but saving of YouTube videos on PC is very practical for watching movies. Unfortunately, the annotation and caption present originally in the YouTube videos are not saved by default. We have to manually attach a separate subtitle file shown here are SLT files. Here we can find some cooking videos saved for later watching. Stefan Sandin shows a brilliant approach to retrieving XML version of annotation. We will use this too. He is showing here how to transfer annotation video to video. Well, which is not the purpose of this tutorial but is being mentioned here for reference. We copy the link of the video and paste it in Stefan's web page. We simply save all what is present to us on the page into a text document that we later rename read2.xml for parsing using XML Starlet later. Like Python which clearly requires the declaration of XML, this tool does not require this and sometimes even crashes when it is present, so we stick with only the document tags. Anything less than this crashes the application too, that is, no output is produced. We can see here we save the document, a new document, the XML data in that, we save it. rename the file. Any name is appropriate, but we must stick with any name that we use. And just for curiosity here, as explaining the code of beyond the scope of this tutorial, if you want to make a request for explanation, that's fine in private messaging. We just hover over the code behind Stefan page to understand what is going on here. And we watch at the associated JavaScript also. This is an optimization purposes. These are the links that might be useful to you. We download the code, the script, and here's the content of the script that will do the parsing that is actually calling XML Starlet. Unfortunately, this code is written to run on Linux system and we have to emulate a Linux system on Windows and for doing this we use the sidewin command prompt. Here we go with the download of sidewin. We simply save everything on the desktop first but we could have installed directly but the problem arises when we download sometime from a mirror, it does not save appropriately and we have to redo this task several times. This is all the screenshot of the installation. You see that it's full of options for anything linked to Linux. We just search for XML Startlet and install these two only. All other dependencies related to XML Startlet will be downloaded automatically. It's just that a, the get command, command that we use on a Linux system. We save a simple folder here and we run the command prompt. We just first move to this directory and we run the script on our XML file. We wait for some time here, the video has been cropped. Uh, it takes around 30 seconds for the generation of this, this file, SRT file. We can have a peep at what's in the subtitle file. Here you, you f we find that it is not in order of time, but most players are able to read it this way. It's essential that we write both files with the same name so that it is loaded. And this is the version that we have just created using the and this is the original file website file. Of course the annotation is are different.
when it comes to subtitle it's very easy to download them we just use a plugin for an add-on YouTube caption downloader we have a, a button that appears beneath the video CC a green arrow we just click on that and we save the here are some different websites that offers an option for either downloading the XML version or to, to compile it some of them works some of them doesn't actually that's why I've put them at the at the back of the tutorial. You can give it a try. Maybe have your luck to make it work. So I hope this tutorial help you around with saving the subtitles from annotation and captions. Thanks.